Hi, I'm George. This is Fat Ninja Farm. It's the greatest light take this video, probably, but I was making a few videos, trying to take videos this morning. I got a hoarse voice. Uh, and I realize I say things in just blanket statements, and it probably doesn't make sense to people sometimes. So, uh, like this is a 10 year old permaculture design food forest planted in guilds with swales and uh, things like that. What do I mean? When we look down, it's just absolutely dense now. We're, we're about, this will be about 10 years in, had lawn 10 years ago. We slowly put in swales, which are just these on contour, like when you look on a contour map, they're following level on contour ditches. Those will have low points and they overflow into one another with ponds within them and at the bottom and top. So we're collecting that water, putting it on the ground. It's planted in zones. What I mean by zones is one through five. Five would be nature. It's not really nature, but we'll call that five or four. And it's how much we visit those areas. Zone one, we'd be walking down here off of our porch, letting the chickens and ducks out, going through our annual garden, putting them up at night, harvesting what we need. Also within this annual garden, which is a fenced area here, would be zone two. And that's where we plant more annuals, but they're less, less labor intensive. So like garlic or corn, or winter squash, or storage beans, things like that, which we'll have to visit once in a while, maybe in squash bugs. Let me let this jet go over. We're over here, it's more of a food forest. Zone three, we'll call this. I don't need to go in there very often, as much as I want to, but we just have routine maintenance in there. The, the prunings and the feedings and the sprays, stuff like that we need to do once in a while and just uh, general health maintenance. But this planted in guilds, so that's the uh, seven layers of a food forest. Really seven would be to the top of these nut trees above them, these acorns, these oaks. But six layers of a food forest, being root crops, ground coverings, herbaceous layer, uh, smaller fruit trees, the climbing layer, uh, let's say the ground covers. So within that, there are all, some of those are, are mining nutrients from down deep. They'll have a deep tap root. We call those dynamic accumulators, accumulating a lot of nutrients, storing it in their, in their cover and their leaves for the other plants around them. Some are nitrogen fixers, pulling nitrogen in the air and the air in the soil around them and storing it in their root systems. See that little yellow finch, I believe it is? Oh, he took off. He's here feeding on these ants and insects that are feeding on the figs that are past ripe. So they're flooding around, so it's calling in those insects. That's part of that guild. Plants, animal, and fungi working together. A lot of the fungi being the decomposers, breaking down the wood chips and the, and the plant material on the floor. So we have the zones. That's what we're talking about, the zones. The guilds, plants, animal, and fungi working together to meet the needs of the whole. And designed with permaculture, there's 12 permaculture principles. But the main three principles are earth care, people care, and fair share. I'm not going to recite the 12 principles, but I hope that makes sense. How this has all been designed and planted within these guilds. So there's very little need for me to do much within them once they get going. The plants, animal, and fungi working together. In zones, just how much I have to be within those guilds to work and do things within them. Uh, the guild's also collecting those nutrients, calling in the beneficial insects and birds that they need, the swales and the ponds, catching and storing that water and holding it in the soil. There's actually a mounds behind there building soil. So that was buried organic material, becoming a, a very nutrient dense sponge to grow those plants out of. I believe I'm starting, starting to waffle now though. So that's guilds, or that's uh, zones. This is Fat Ninja Farm. I'm George. Change is better than a holiday. Peace.